my favorite compliment is when people come to me and say I left BarkBox for the subscription box because I'm like, wow, that's just so special that they chose us. Welcome to Life Unleashed. The podcast all about creating the best life for you and your furry best friend. If you're a dog mom on the go juggling life, work, and the endless joys of being a dog parent, then you're in the right place. I'm Danny, And I'm Nick. And together with the incredible dog mom community from Tales Up Pup, we're here to share advice, stories, and the obsession we have over the love for our dogs. Get ready to laugh, learn, and lean on each other because life with your dog just got even more awesome. Welcome back. We just officially celebrated our two-year Tupiversary, but I realized by saying that, that we use Tupiversary for like anything celebrated here because like if it's our work anniversary or anything, oh, it's yeah. the Tupiversary. Actually, that makes sense. But so it's really the subscription anniversary. Subscription anniversary, but doesn't sound as nice. But for all of the subscribers, it's their Tupiversary because like they don't get a work one, you know, like. That makes sense. So today's podcast is going to be all about our subscription box, subscription box, what it is, how we got started, how it has affected our business, all the fun things. Things. Can you believe it's been two years? No, it actually feels like longer, Yes, which gets into the part of how did we even start doing this? And for longer than two years, we have been doing these boxes, but we were just doing them almost like monthly. We started off like probably seasonally, then monthly. And then we were like, you know what? These people have to come back and it was always selling out. That was the biggest like a uh, piece of feedback we we're getting like I can never get my hands on a box so we were like okay if we create a subscri- subscription then we could you know make sure everyone gets the box that they want yeah how did you come up with like the first box that we did obviously do, was it maybe bark box that paved the way for the whole like subscription we're dog box thing dabble into the whole bark box thing because that's the most similar thing that we get compared to and to me we are so different But we really got into the box game in general because we were trying to figure out who we wanted to be as Tails Up Pup. And really, it was a dog and me shop. And so it wasn't just dog bandanas. We were incorporating lots of things for humans. And so that next step was really a box curated for you and your dog. So right, I have like a human item in there, like a sweatshirt. That's what our original boxes were. It had items for you and your dog. They were about $100. And so it was a pricey item, but you were getting so much in that box. Yeah, you would get like a sweatshirt, a bandana, a toy. A mug, a um, beach towel, sunglasses. Like we ha- we got to do so many fun things with that. And I really do miss those types of boxes. Yeah, that's the thing with the higher price point. You can just like give more stuff. So when we really sat down and said, okay, you know, these boxes are selling out. People want to be able to ensure they're going to get them. Let's figure out if we can create some kind of... S- you know, at first it was prepay, like pre-buy your boxes. Then we were like, okay, I think we could do subscription. It was very intimidating because we had never done anything like that. We had to find um, like a platform that allowed us to do it and set all of the things up. And the most difficult thing at that time, which is still our most difficult thing right now, is, oh, Holly's bringing us a toy from her subscription box. That's so nice. You say, you can get things like this in your box. <laughs> is the personalization customization of our boxes which is well, I'm gonna just go all over the place here but like that's what sets us apart from bark box as well um, but that is the most difficult part of running our uh, subscription as well you know like our personal tub subscription box it's personalized bandana it's custom sizing you get to choose slip on or tie on that definitely creates us the most headaches in the long run and that was what was the hardest to figure out how to set up on the back end for customers signing up for the first time yeah when we were looking at like the tech part of it it was like we talked to multiple different companies and like they're like oh yeah setting up a subscription is easy and then we told them what we wanted to do for our subscription they're like wait you want the, every subscription to be different like have a name and like all these different variants and like variations because really if you think about it it's the, the the dog's name it could be like for a one dog box a two dog box yeah, we were like okay hey, people have more than one dog so what are we going to do for those people if there's allergies um if you want to tie on or slip on if you want to seam on your bandana like there's so many different like options like it's pretty customized to the individual and subscriptions really like don't I feel like work that way the most like complex that we talked to were like people that were used to like a coffee subscription they're like oh yeah we could give you like you know medium different uh, flavors, yeah, different flavors and things like that but it's only one thing so and we're, there's nothing like our box out there we still haven't found anything like that and we definitely 
hopefully understand why now that we've done it for two years. And we still have lots of headaches on the back end. Actually, what we do is we keep this massive like um, Excel sheet, Excel sheet of like all the subscribers, because the other thing about it is people can come in and say like, oh, say they started their subscription when they got a puppy and now they need to sit, change their size. Like we'll make sure that it's gets much updated. more difficult than you would think. You think, OK, it's easy. I want them to be able to change their size or I wanted I wanted the customer experience to be the easiest. I wanted you to be able to cancel when you want it and all those things. But it's actually much more difficult on the back end than you think, which is why we've always required you to email us to do it so that we are aware we can handle it but now you can do it on your own yeah, we're, most people still email us yeah we're conquering some of the hurdles and, and I, maybe that's because the technology is catching up a little bit and allowing like the subscription services to have more options but yeah it's still a lot of manual work so how did we go from these $100 dog and me boxes to the subscription box really we sat down we were like okay how much is someone willing to pay and customers were willing to pay the $100 almost every month for those boxes but as soon as it became a somewhat commitment the thought of committing we were like okay I don't know that people would really pay that all the time so what can we do to make it a lower price point um, an easy entry and so we were like you know what let's not include the human items in the box and let's create an add-on shop where you can add things to your box now that we're literally talking about this Danny what if we came back with a subscription dog and me box well we have talked about it multiple times throughout the two years and if you you are listening and you would like that definitely let us know because those honestly were my all-time favorite because it was so fun to like find beach towels find sunglasses you know like find embroider this, an item in, in there which right now like even this month there's an embroidered item i just took one from the shop the floral paw and i give the subscribers a better price on it well, so, I think now is a good time to talk about the add-on shop a little bit and how we've like cr crafted our like whole subscription experience because we didn't want to lose that like aspect of them being able to have like a dog and me box. We created this thing called the add-on shop. And so that's where we put things like sweatshirts and just all different types of stuff, different treats, whatever. Some of it's like dog related. Some of it's human related. Right. So and it's so not just human things. You can add things for your dogs. And we haven't even like if you're listening to this, you're like, what is the subscription box? It is a personalized handmade dog bandana, a fun and interactive toy and a yummy bag of treats for your dog. And it all has a curated theme. Every month is different. And we try to stick with something uh, Holly almost knocked the table over something seasonal or fun. But like this past month we did barnyard. It was just like what I like to call a random theme, but it's like fun. It's different. We had never done barnyard before. And so coming up with the themes is my favorite thing, but it's also the most, okay, not the most stressful because there's a lot of stress that goes with the subscription box, but I'm always worried. Like what if someone doesn't like it or like, I don't know, what if someone has something similar to this already in their wardrobe? I don't know. You know, it's very hard. And that's really why, like I didn't do an Easter box because I don't know. Everyone celebrates Easter and I don't know which bandanas they already have. So like small holidays like that are much harder for us to do. So that's when we like to do fun, different themes. But I have a whole list. Um, if I'm ever in the shower, out on a hike, and I'm thinking of like, oh, this would be a fun box theme. I have a giant list of things that I've written down. And then we'll go through them. But then a lot of times, even my thoughts can't happen because to find all three categories that match up and all fit the theme is actually very hard. Yeah, you got to find a fabric that matches the theme, a treats that match the theme, and then a toy that matches it. Like, so that's a lot to find. It's it's very hard to match it all up and actually make it cohesive. But I and will to say, never repeat. I do think that I've done pretty good. Sometimes we repeat something, you know, kind of similar, like. I don't know. I feel like we've done like some like outdoorish themes or whatever yeah. before, but they're all different and they're all fun. And no one has ever complained of being like, oh, I already had this or whatever. Um, typically, the only like I got one person this year who complained because like the Valentine's box was pink and they had a boy dog. But other than that, most everyone enjoys it. And it's like a fun surprise. That was the other thing we debated. Do we tell people what they're getting or do we make it a surprise? And so if you follow us on Instagram and you watch the stories, you usually get a little sneak peek you get to know what you're getting uh, somewhere along the way I'll show something but for the most part it is a surprise and then once the box arrives then we share all the fun things and share all the stories of people with their dogs and stuff the other thing that's really cool about it is because it's like a purely curated theme you're never going to find that exact 
like set of stuff like anywhere else out there. It's very cool how many boxes we've shipped in two years. We've shipped thousands of subscription boxes. And it's so cool that we get to be the person who gets to bring happiness to the, these dogs' doorsteps. We are getting to dress them up for the month. It's so fun because I know some people have told me, like, this is the bandana that they wear for the month. And every month they switch it out with what they get in the next box. So that's so much fun. The toys, the treats. I just love being a part of people's lives, specifically the dogs' lives. I love dogs and it's just so cool that I get to be a part of it and bring happiness to them. Well, isn't that the best part of what we do really honestly? Yes, all together. Yep. I, fe- I feel like that's kind of like, you know, everyone says your why. Why do you do what you do? I feel like that's the big the big why behind Tales of Pup. It's not just, like Danny said, we love bringing happiness and joy to the dogs, but it's just like your dog is part of your family. And so it's kind of like you're bringing happiness to the family and spreading positivity. Yeah, you are so right. The other thing about uh, going back a little bit to the pricing, figuring out how we are going to price this box was that the free shipping, you know, everyone wants free shipping, especially for something that's coming every single month. You don't want to feel like you're paying for the shipping, but sorry to break it to you. Nothing in life is free. So that cost had to come from somewhere. And if you've ever gone to like a UPS store or something like that and shipped, um, yeah, shipping is very expensive and it is very expensive for us too. And having those items inside of a cardboard box definitely makes it more expensive. So we had to figure out what we were going to do. We decided that we were going to offer free shipping, but that means that technically that cost has to be baked into the box price. So that's kind of how we got there. We said, okay, a bandana, a toy, a treat, you know, every month those things vary because we're getting different toys, different treats, um, and sometimes even different fabric. So all the prices vary, but we had to take a general guess of what it was going to cost plus the shipping of the box. And that's how we got there. And then we were like, okay, if someone doesn't want this whole thing, you know, what could they have for cheaper? And maybe they don't like toys. Maybe they have too many allergies, whatever the stipulations may be. Let's add a bandana only subscription. We had a lot of interest. I mean, very early on when like, cause we, you know, started out as a bandana company. They're like, when are you going to have a bandana subscription? Right. That's what our whole thing was is dog bandana. So we were like, Oh, for sure. We need to have a bandana subscription. It just took a while to get, to get there because we didn't have the logistics. Again, we didn't have the whole, um, like interface. Is that the right word? Like yeah, the guess, whole system it's almost like a back end app. Yeah. But once we were like, okay, we're doing the box, then we had all of the systems in place to be able to do any type of subscription that we wanted. We even, when we ended up doing supplements, we had a subscription for those as well. Once we got it going, it was easy to have it on any product that we wanted. However, still, we have this giant Excel sheet that complicates our life. And every month, like the process of these boxes is very time consuming so much time because okay first we pick the theme and new people can subscribe new people can become a subscriber from the first through the 12th so after the 12th we shut it off and that's when we order all of the things for that theme because now we know exactly how many toys exactly how many treats because we don't repeat the theme because we don't sell leftover boxes later we buy exactly what we need and that's why we have a cutoff date well, and, and this all comes from like things that we've learned when we were just doing the non-subscription boxes. Remember, they like Danielle was saying, they sold out all the time. But there were a few months where it's like we were always selling out, always selling out. So we'd buy a little bit more, a little bit more. And then one month we would literally sell like 30 of them instead of mm-hmm. the normal 100 plus that we would sell. And it's like, why did no one decide to want this box? It yeah. made no sense. And so like purchasing inventory was a nightmare when we were doing it on the one-offs where now with the subscription we pretty much know uh, exactly what how many subscribers we have for the month the hardest thing with that still is like a lot of things come in packs so i have to buy six or 12 quantities at a time so if i needed like one more i will be left with five if i want that specific toy but that's you know the sometimes why I have like some random things left. But other than that, then we have to order everything. Then we have to make sure it's going to arrive within two weeks because now (laughs) we have a, yeah. That is one of the most stressful parts. A quick turnaround time, you know, and some companies take a long time. So then we can't order from them. And sometimes things have arrived on the last day, but for the most part, we've learned which companies we like and what will arrive on time and not stress us out. So we place our order, 
the things arrive. We got to make all of the bandanas. We got to personalize all the bandanas. So what I do is I use Nick's Excel sheet and I match up slip on with a seam, without a seam, a tie on with all the names, the right size. That takes me like two whole days to personalize subscription bandanas. So much work goes into that. I mean, because you're literally sitting there having to personalize, you know, over uh, what I'd like 150 to 200 in that range. Yeah, bandanas. It depends on the month. It depends on the month. Because you can skip your box. We got new people. We got people leaving, sadly, sometimes. But yes. And then we got to match up the right bandana. Make sure it has the right size, a seam or not, the tie on, the name with the right shipping label. And then we put the toy and the tree inside. And then again, there is also a two dog box as well. So you got to match two bandanas with the right shipping label. Then once everything is matched up, packed in a box and ready to go, and you make sure you didn't forget any add-ons that they added to their box, then we bring it to the taping station and we usually do two different tapes. We do a clear tape and our puppy tape on top, and then they go off. Yeah, I mean, you'd be surprised <laughs> how long it takes to tape, you know, that many boxes. It takes a lot of time. I usually give that job to Nick because I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, but you you have to do all the personalization and all the, like, packing of them. So Yes, you and when Ensley's fish. here, it definitely helps to have two people because one person can read down the sheet and one person can find the name. That's the other thing. If you've ever watched the stories and you see how we print a hundred names at a time they're all backed up to each other so it's very hard to read some of the fonts and it is very hard to read backwards but i am an expert at reading backwards now <laughs> you literally yeah when danielle has been like help me find a name it's like it would take me literally I'm 10 like, times no as help. long i'm no help at all <laughs> That's the other fun thing is I decided I'm going to use fun and different fonts for the Tubscription bandanas and I have gotten the best feedback on that. People love seeing the new different fonts and colors and all that stuff. So that was also a fun addition to add to the Tubscription box. Does it irritate you when people compare us to BarkBox? Yes, but honestly it is like the they're the biggest dog subscription box. They're the most well-known. Like a lot of people have tried them because a lot of times they'll give free boxes. So my favorite compliment is when people come to me and say, I left BarkBox for the subscription box because I'm like, wow, that's just so special that they chose us. We do. We are very well aware. We are a more expensive box. But if you think about what you're getting, you're getting more. So, you know, there's that. And why are we different? so many reasons but yes we both have themed boxes i feel like that's what we have in common for dogs but we have our personalized handmade dog bandana you're supporting a small business you know the bandana is the biggest thing because they do have toys and they usually have some type of treat in their box i believe i personally have never been a bark boxer but um i think that they have toys and treats so if you like dressing your dog up if you like our bandanas if you like something personalized then well, that's the big thing the personalized aspect of it you're literally getting something specifically for your dog with their name on it yeah bark box there's no there's very few people out there doing anything like that with the personalized aspect bark box has the greatest system because they throw their things in a box they slap your label on it and it goes out the door here at tales of pup i can tell you every owner that matches with their dog's name because i am the one personally personalizing personally personalizing the bandanas we are you know hand making those bandanas we are packaging the boxes as a team and it's just it, it is a team effort we it could not be done month to month as one single person Oh, gosh, no, there's no way. No, it is so much work, but it is so much fun. And, of course, the best part, not only when people leave BarkBox for us, but all the fun photos and the great reviews that people give on the boxes. Well, it's kind of like pe because it comes at the same time every month, people like are looking forward to like the first of the month. They know that within those first few, da few days, depending on where they live, that that box is coming and it's subscription day. Yes, that is the best day. And everyone always loves Danny, the mailman, for his box day videos. And sadly, we are moving so that is going to be very sad to not have that anymore. Yeah, that is, we, I don't think we've fully, that's not sunk in yet. Yeah. Danny is amazing. And yeah, it's crazy. Those boxes, like depending on like if, if we're going with the bigger box or a little smaller, like can fill up the, his whole truck. Which is why most mailmen do not enjoy picking up our mail because they have to make a special trip and it is a hassle for them. But there's not much we can do about it. We're, you know, 
The mail's got to get to the people. It's got to get to the people, and we are paying for it. So, yeah, that that's one thing that is absolutely crazy is how much shipping adds up for those things over time. It, it's nuts. You wouldn't believe it until you see the numbers. Perfect timing. <laughs> yeah. We were literally just talking about you. Really, you, you drove right by, Aww. so I brought them all in off the truck. <laughs> what is your favorite part about Box Day? Just being able to pick up all those boxes, going to the people that are waiting on them. It's kind of exciting. It's cool, right? Yeah, it is. is. it, what is it, like, what does it mean as a, <laughs> Holly's best friend is Danny the Mailman. Um, what does it look like as a mailman when you have to come pick up that many boxes? What does it look like? Yeah, like you have to make a special trip for them usually. Yes, I have to make sure that my truck is almost empty before I get them. Yeah. Yeah. And we're sad that it's coming to an end. Don't start. I know. Don't start. You'll make me cry. What it, What is different about like picking up from businesses versus going to like, you know, house to house? Well, you know, we pick them up at the house too cuz you guys had used to give Tiffany all your right. packages. Right. So we do the same thing for the house too, but y'all didn't have the box day at Tiffany's. No. House. Yeah, is it going to be crazy for us now? I don't know. I'll uh, try to put in a good word for you somehow in Powder Springs. Yeah. I think it's Powder Springs, right? Yeah, yeah. we need some good yeah. some good word in there for... Yeah. Maybe I can talk to somebody and say, hey, beware. You've got great customers coming. <laughs> and if you don't treat them right, I'll fire you. Yes. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> well, we're going to miss you. We appreciate all of your hard work for us and getting everyone's mail on time. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a sad day when they go. I know. But it, it's good for them, though. Yeah. Real good. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, that was fun timing. Literally, what crazy timing. <laughs> like, he, I mean, it's not that crazy because he, like, you know, comes here every day. But at the same time, like, we're literally just talking about Danny picking up the packages and he pulls up. I was like, do you want to come in for a second? Because <laughs> I was just talking about you. So he was not prepared, but that was really fun. Um, the other thing I was going to say about the difference between subscription box, bark box, and, you know, just shopping at a small business is that we can really take your feedback and make changes. And if you have special requests, we usually do our best to accommodate them. So there's dogs who can't really have any treats. So we've created a special box for them where it's like a bandana and a toy um we've had someone who um i don't know there's just I just don't... wants the toys and treats yeah just wants the toys and treats whatever it may be like we want to make everyone happy if you want to be a part of the subscription community and there's something about what our box is that you don't want like let us know or if you don't like a certain toy that's very hard for us to accommodate every month but like if you're like hey in general like we don't like plush toys like I try to incorporate different types of toys because I've gotten feedback or people have really said they like the rope toys so I've tried to do more rope toys um the biggest thing is always like a durable toy and we do our best to find something that will last a little bit longer than an hour you know dogs like to destroy things but durable and cute toys are very hard to find so we also have had at least a few themes that have all been from like the subscribers, oh, like their yeah. suggestions. A lot. And we all, we do a lot of polls, like seeing like, oh, what kind of themes would you guys like? And I don't know. It's kind of like we please the people. It's pretty cool to see that a lot of dogs are proud to be in the subscription community as well. We've tried to, you know, bring that a step further by creating like an exclusive Facebook page and stuff. But that's very hard to build because I feel like sometimes I'm talking to myself. <laughs> but it is hard. But, you know, the community is there whether they're talking to each other or not. It's it's cool that people like to share their boxes, post their photos, and all of that fun stuff as well. Well, that gets into a little bit of like, I feel like Tails Up Pup has become its own community, not just the subscription. Oh, that's yeah. like a subset of the community. But like, that's one of the other things. It's like why we do what we do. It's like this community of people that we get to, you know, communicate online with. And it's really crazy that we've actually turned so many of those into real life friendships and met people in person. It just goes to show that like, you know, what starts out online actually does translate to the real world a lot of times. And it's not only us who have made those relationships and friends, it's other people in the community. Who yes, like without us being there. Yeah. That, yeah, that's what you mean. Yeah. It's super cool that people have become friends through learning each about each other through Tales of Pup. I know Daniela said this a lot before, but it is so true. Like, and this is more in person, but this definitely translates online too. If you're at a coffee shop or somewhere out with your dog, um, that is such like a, you know, conversation sparker, or even like the sweatshirts that you wear, like, oh, that's so cute. And now you've like struck up a conversation with a stranger and who knows, maybe you made a friend. Mm-hmm.
It's the way it works. The main reason I wanted to do this whole podcast specifically about the Tub Scription Box, obviously we were celebrating the two-year Tub anniversary, but as a customer, uh, someone who receives the Tub Scription Box, that you probably just receive this happy box and you just you know, open it up, put the bandana on your dog, give your dog the toy and treats, and it's easy and happy. And I feel like there's so much that goes on behind the scenes. And I was like, you know what, we should talk about this because we try to share videos and content, but I feel like it's hard to fully grasp how much work goes into each box, how much love goes into each box. Um, I always think that it's so funny when Nick and Enzo would be like, ask a question about a certain bandana, a size, a name. And I can tell you off the top of my head, you know, this person is this dog because that's like how much I'm putting into it. I put my whole heart into it and I feel like that's what makes it special, you know? Yeah. And I mean, I don't know, as a customer I, of other brands, I like to see the behind the scenes and like what goes into stuff. And so I think it's fun. If you guys like that, you know, let us know if you're on YouTube, like leave a comment and say, we like seeing the behind the scenes stuff. The other thing about the tub subscription that is a nice benefit for our family is our girls always get all the tub subscription stuff. And sometimes when people cancel at the last minute, they get the extra tub subscription treats and yes, toys. They love it. It's always fun for them. People always think that our dogs have a million things and they definitely have more than the average dog but they don't have as much as a lot of people think and so you know I'm not giving them a new toy every day because they work here and they have we have access to it they just get toys you know whenever they need them but they get extra extra excited when they get their subscription box as well okay Danny putting you on the hot seat mm -hmm. what is subscription going to look like two years from now I hope that we have even more dogs. And even though, you know, on the back end, it does seem like how could we do it? Um, I just think more hands on deck would allow us to do it. And I don't want to change, obviously, the easiest things to grow and uh, on the business set, like everyone, if you went on Shark Tank, they would tell you, you can't scale at this, so you can't do it. And like, that's what one of the reasons I wouldn't go on Shark Tank. Like I don't, I want to stay true to what I want to do. And this is that the customization, the personalization, and that's what makes us special. So we're yeah, gonna, you're not trying to have a million subscribers. You're trying to treat the subscribers that we have, uh, as best as we can and give them, you know, what we promised them and what we right. like. And so more subscribers would be great. Um, it doesn't have to be a million. It can be something reasonable. And I don't know, more fun themes. Maybe we would have a dog and me subscription box. And maybe there would be some other tiers of subscription boxes. I don't really know. I feel like we don't have a ton planned for like the long-term goals. You know, we plan out for the year, the themes, the boxes, that kind of stuff. But other than that, I'm not quite sure, but it obviously comes back with feedback. So if you have something that you wish you saw or wish you could get from us, especially now that we do so much embroidery, we have talked a lot about doing an embroidery subscription of some sort. I just don't know what to do from there like the idea is there but I don't know exactly what it should be yet so that's why we haven't completely jumped and done it yet well if you're a subscriber or you you know just learned all about the subscription you know somebody that is on BarkBox or has dogs and love them recommend the subscription box I think people will love it and you can use our referral program for the subscription as well so they can get money ten dollars off their first box and then you'll get ten dollars to use on your next order so it's a win-win for everyone if you want to refer someone you can refer them to our entire website but you can also refer them to the subscription as well this is a really fun episode Danielle is there anything else about subscription or box things that you had that you want to talk about I feel like there's so much more more, but this is a great little toe dip, you know, sharing the behind the scenes, the funness and bringing Danny on as a surprise little guest on our podcast today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any requests, send us a DM or comment if you're on YouTube and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.